Finally, the South African rand continued its decline on Wednesday, with investors focusing on local inflation data for insights into future interest rate decisions. The rand was trading at 18 rand and 42 cents against the dollar, slightly down from the previous day. Economists predict June's year-on-year -year inflation to be around 5.1%, following a 5.2% rate in May. Furthermore, inflation has remained above 5% since September 2023, with the central bank aiming for a target of 4.5% in the coming quarters. Investment analyst Simbongile Nyangintzimbi provides insights on the market adjustments. Annual consumer price inflation decreased slightly to 5.1% in June, down from 5.2% in May. The main contributors to this included housing and utilities, miscellaneous goods and services, food and non-alcoholic beverages, as well as transport. The domestic market has heightened its expectations for a SARP policy shift following the CPI release. And if we look at the forward rate agreement curve, markets have fully accounted for a 25 basis point rate cut by the SARP in September, followed by another 25 basis point cut in November. But the forward rate market is often wrong in predicting interest rate movements and can be quite volatile, so we don't rely on it, but rather use it as a monitoring tool. Last week, the Governor of the Reserve Bank announced that the Monetary Policy Committee kept the repo rate steady at 8.25%. He also stated that ma maintaining a restrictive policy was necessary to aim for the central bank's inflation target midpoint of 4.5%. Here at Cartesian, we still believe that inflation is too high and that it's unlikely that the SAB will cut at the next meeting in September. The inflation report led to increased flows into the RAND, resulting in some strength today. However, global factors will likely dominate the currency's movements. With the upcoming release of US GDP and PCE inflation data later this week, investors are likely to remain cautious. In addition to this, the ongoing discussions at the AGOA Forum in Washington could still influence RAND sentiment.